For years, the Sacconi Jolie family have been documenting their life online. Hello. Welcome to the vlog. To almost two million loyal followers. But they've turned their backs on YouTube and now focus on mental health and gender identity. I want to show the world that it's okay to be who you really are. Dad Jonathan recently revealed he's non-binary and their second child, born a boy, is now a transgender girl. <laughs> choosing to change her name. People would say like, oh, you're forcing it on her or she's too young to know what, what's going on. I'm like, but that's, that's your lack of, you know, um, kind of exposure to, to that environment. You don't have a trans child. You are not a trans person. When she was telling me how she used to have sleepless nights because she saw a video about puberty and thought like, I don't, am I gonna grow facial hair? Am I gonna like, I I'm gonna have babies, right? When I grow up, like I'm gonna be a mommy, right? I, I don't know how to answer that question because it's really sad. And to see a child just be questioned at all and be like, I'm, I'm in the wrong body. Can, can I change please? As Jonathan uses his platform to inform others, those within education are calling for better support on gender issues. New research shows almost 80% of secondary school teachers have students who identify as trans or non-binary, and two-thirds say they'd like government-approved lesson plans on the subject. Teachers aren't experts um, in trans children and trans people. And that's really why we want the government and the DfE to help us um, setting those policies, um, in particular, you know, changing rooms, toilets, um, sports in, in particular, and single sex schools. The Department for Education says it's considering its next steps in supporting schools with gender identity. It comes after the government said a ban on so-called conversion therapy won't include trans people. What would you say to those people? Eight-year-old Edie's response to this conversion is simple. I would be um, sad, but um, I would also um, keep trying to convince you that I wasn't a boy. Give me a cuddle. Charlotte Lomas, Sky News.